by going to Knoxville, Tennessee, where we find our first guest. They're creators of Garden Artistry Music. She has been serving in worship ministry and her and Nathan have together since the day they met. They're originally from the Chicago suburbs, but currently reside near Knoxville, Tennessee with their five children. They met while studying music in college and went on to have a healthy career in music education and band instrument repair, respectively. They now juggle homeschooling, worship leading, songwriting, recording, teaching, yes, gardening, and training in martial arts. Very diverse uh, hobbies there. And of course, for more information, you can get in contact with them. They love to guest worship. Uh, for small and medium-sized churches than possible and love to think outside the box for new projects that line up with their mission. Uh, right now, here she is, uh, Rachel Durbin, back with us here on Red's Room tonight. Rachel, good evening. Nice to see you again. Welcome into the program. Good evening. Thanks for having me today. <laughs> Great to have you here. And of course, um, a lot of what we've been enjoying lately, um, perhaps we could, we could talk about this here uh, starting off tonight, is you've done pretty much every Friday for quite some time now yeah, a three, cover three, song three that is <laughs> impacting your world you did a lauren dangle cover which was very well done by the Thank way you. when did you first get started with the, the weekly kind of worship cover uh, well about three years ago is when i started i actually i uploaded my first song to youtube uh, about nine years ago but like I uploaded that song and then like four other ones and then closed the YouTube and didn't do anything for a long, long time. Um, <laughs> and then like slowly, I kind of sporadically put some stuff on there. Um, but it was three years ago when I decided I was going to do a song a week and I've been doing it a song a week for three years and I've not missed a week. So wow. uh, sometimes you got to schedule things. I mean, we moved in the midst of that. So <laughs> like we, we, we recorded some things ahead. It wasn't like every single week, but um, yeah. but it's been it's been a nice uh, uh a faithful uh discipline to to come up with that and it's it's kind of cool because it's really whatever song is speaking to me at the moment sometimes they're originals sometimes they're cover songs but whichever one is speaking to me i just share it and hopefully. it's really awesome seeing a number of the songs that have come out of that time period it's awesome and seeing and hearing your take on some of those it's been really cool to see song number one tonight what do you have for us I was actually going to do the one I just did for uh, my channel this week. I, that Lauren oh, Daniels song that you mentioned. So, so yeah. Um, I was like actually shocked that I haven't done this one for my channel yet because I, I love this song so much. And it's been, you know, it's my girls love Lauren Daigle. She's like their favorite. So, um, so to not have done this one, I'm like, I couldn't believe it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is the week. She'll, I'm doing it. She'll be up here in the Seattle area next Saturday. And I'm debating going, actually. <sighs> I would love to see her. I've never seen her live, but someday I would love to. So she has been a, a big inspiration. So, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna sing her song. So I hope Let's you do enjoy it. it. I hope it blesses you. So here we go. <clears throat> You 
done by Rachel Durbin. I love that cover of uh, Lauren Daigle's You Say, her hit song there. You just inspire me to go to the concert next Saturday now. <laughs> Good stuff, go. I, I probably should. You know, why not? You know, I, I don't think I've ever really seen her live, to be honest. She's one of the few I haven't seen left, so maybe we'll cross that off the list next Saturday. Who knows? Uh, what's next up for you in your musical journeys? What's uh, what, what can we look forward to in the coming weeks ahead here for you? Uh, well, actually, I, I just finished a, my first live show in Knoxville, so that was a really cool opportunity. So, I mean, you can't look forward to that now, but hopefully I'll be doing more kinds of live things in the area. Now that I've done one, um, maybe I can do some other ones. I'm doing a little bit of guest worship leading at some local churches. Um, and uh, I would love to record again. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe with all these live performances, maybe uh, God will provide uh, the income in order to start recording another thing again. So we'll see. We'll see. So it seems that like some amazing. doors are starting to open. <laughs> that would be amazing. We, we love a lot of your uh, stuff that's out there. And a couple of our songs, a couple of your songs are in heavy rotation on our radio network just a lot of people are just loving the vibe of the uh, child of god one that's probably one of the more played ones just it has a, such a such a cool vibe to it love it um rachel durbin is with us here on res room what's your second song you've got for us tonight um i am going to sing uh a song that i wrote when we first moved here to tennessee uh, I wrote this song. Actually, I wrote it as a co-write, so it's got a few other co-writers um, on it. But we wrote it because we moved to the valley. We used to live in a flat place, and when we moved here, we found out that when you live in the valley by a river and there's mountains, it's foggy in the morning. Um, and so this song uh, was kind of the experience of like waking up in the morning and you look at your weather app and it says it's sunny, but you look outside and it's absolutely not sunny. And you're like, okay, well, I have to have faith that this is telling me that it's actually sunny somewhere else. And right now, just right where I am is kind of blurry and kind of uncertain, but I'm going to keep on walking because I have, I'll have faith that I'll, I'll get through the day and the, the, the clouds will lift and, um, you know, something good will come. And so the song is about your faith journey being a lot like that situation. So. Here we go. So on red there. Thank you. Sometimes it's hard to see. Life gets so blurry. Is there more? Is there more than just this valley? 
It's hard to convince my eyes when I'm filled with worry. God, remind me there is more than what I see. There are better things, better days ahead of me. Will you lift me up? Lift me up out of the valley and into the sun. Out of the sorrow and into your love Will you lift me up Lift me up When I'm surrounded I reach for your arms You're the one I trust You lift me up I never Your plans are always good, and so is this journey. There are better things, better days ahead of me. There are better things, better days ahead of me. You lift me up. Lift me There's Joe. There's Joe. You're muted though, Joe. I hit the button. It didn't go for some reason. There we go. Rachel Durbin right here on Red's Room. Great to have all of you joining us. Great to have uh, Rachel joining us as well. Checking in the Facebook. Uh, Phil Burno, who I believe and I heard through the grapevine 
but he is in Honduras. How is Honduras treating you? Great to have you joining us for a few minutes there. <clears throat> beautiful song, beautiful voice, says Jeffrey Davenport. Jeffrey, good to see you, my friend. Chi Santos, we'll hear from in just a little bit. Very powerful song, uh, she says. Yes, indeed. Brian Irwin, good to see you this evening tonight. And of course, uh, the very first song you played, Red says, yes, love this cover. Yes, indeed. I'm sure everybody does. Uh, it was uh, very well received. A lot of us, as you know, it was shared in our, our little group on uh, Friday and everybody just loved that particular tune. Um, who are some of your musical influences these days that have helped uh, shape your journey along the way? Well, um, I, I don't know. I, I listen to a lot of music, but I think mostly what I'm listening to nowadays is new songwriters. Um, so mm. my my friends in my songwriting groups and the stuff that they're putting out. So all the Kingdom Music Academy people and all of the writing worship people, um, they're, you know, putting out good stuff. And I, I like what they're doing. And it's inspiring to me to see somebody learning how to do the thing that I want to learn how to do. And they're just a little farther ahead and it makes it feel like the goal is achievable. Just um, raising all boats, pushing each other yeah, towards yeah. the same goal. I love it. I, and, I, and I love what's going on, especially sometimes you don't find it as much in uh, the mainstream or in the, <clears throat> the higher you go, because sometimes it's, I hate to say it. Sometimes you see in your stories would be a dog eat dog type of world but i love what's going on especially in the independent christian music scene where a lot of folks are really just collaborating really pushing and helping each other and encouraging one another and that's really what it should be about and just pushing one, one another to be to be even better and to strive with excellence in their in their calling and their gifts i love it i love it uh, we're in the middle of rachel's four song set here on red's room song number three what do you got for us I'm going to play Promise Keeper. Promise Keeper is uh, one that is, I think it's playing on your station sometimes, but um, the song is just a... a it is, plays often. From, it's from my testimony. Uh, this was written actually uh, as an exercise in KMA, actually, uh, to have a completed promises song or something along those lines. I forget what the exact actual, the actual assignment was, um, future promises, I think it was, but I wrote it because I wanted to give testimony to the promises that God had given in my life and speak to it that I, I believe those promises, even when I can't see it. And so, uh, we wanted to move for a long time. <laughs> I mean, we loved our, we loved our home, but we had a very, very small house and we were very close close quarters in that small house and we kept thinking hey god we'd love a bigger house maybe you could move us to like a bigger place um but he didn't uh and uh and that was actually really good because it forced us to get to know our community it forced us to learn simplicity it forced us to uh put down roots in our community and actually you know really um nurture the the gifts that that god had given and so we saw Pardon, the fruit yeah. of that uh, and so, uh, so I believe God's a promise keeper, even though he didn't give us a bigger house in Illinois, <laughs> he didn't, didn't do those things. Um, and then like, strangely, like after I, we wrote that song about like being content in God's plan, then God said, Hey, guess what? Now, now I'm going to send you to Tennessee. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. All right. Sure. So, but even if the promises don't look how you expect them, they're always good and they're always true. Um, and so sometimes it just takes a shift in our perspective to see uh, the, that he is a promise keeper. So here we go. Well, it's like Red, by the way, found another spot you maybe could potentially play in Tennessee in the Franklin area, the Just Love Coffee Cafe. Ooh, Sent a good old writer friend request there, so he'll, he'll pass them all that info to you there. Sweet. Thank there you. you. Promise keeper, Rachel Durbin now on Red Room. God, your promises awaken me. I find myself shaking, falling on my knees. You told me to wait, that you'd provide what I need, and you have in ways I couldn't foresee. wasn't a new town we 
were already there And putting our roots down A garden has grown And the fruit is much sweeter All than we could have known You were the promise king indeed such a fantastic song and she is correct it is playing quite often on our radio networks it's a very impactful song uh, plays right up there alongside a child of god that is promise keeper rachel durbin right here on red's room we mentioned songwriting a minute ago um what do you believe since you've started songwriting the value of co-writing and collaboration really has added to your music through the years uh, well, well, uh, it, it just, it's God's kingdom coming together. And so what I like about it is you've got different people with different gifts. And when those gifts come together in just the right compliment, uh, combination, you get a way better song than you could ever do on your own. Um, and so, uh, it's, it's really nice and humbling and inspiring all at the same time, because you've got people with like years more experience and you learn from those people and you got people who are just starting out who you like, you get to help them. And like, you're all working together and you create this thing that, you know, never would have happened by yourself. 
Um, and that's really how the church should function is like, you know, God's, God's people complimenting one another. So. Amen to that. I love seeing that. And uh, I love seeing a lot of the creative collaborations that come out of that too. And just the, the byproducts of a lot of that networking and collaboration. It's great to see, especially it's an exciting time uh, to watch for a lot of you guys that are putting out great music um, on a continual basis there. We have one more song from Rachel Durbin right now. What song have you chosen to end your set with this evening? Well, you already mentioned it. I actually thought I would end with Child of God today. Did I? Ah. I did. So I don't have a ukulele to play today, but no, I... so we're not going to quite get the uh, Hawaiian <laughs> tropical <laughs> type <laughs> vibe in full there. I, I thought you were just going to be like multitasking, talented, and just like. Well, yeah. I wish I could. I, I try to play the ukulele part, but man, I am just, my fingers don't have that skill yet. Maybe someday they will, but right now they're a begin, I'm a beginner ukulele person. And so somebody so way you, better you than me. Player on the recording. That was not you. Yes. Then. No, no. Somebody way better. See, this is God's kingdom working together. People who have gifts at ukulele play on the recording. Not me, because you don't want to hear that. But <laughs> <laughs> today I'm going to try and play an organ sound to go with it and hopefully that'll, Ooh, that'll be good. All right. So you got a child to God. All right. And it, it gets kind of loud, so I'll I'll hopefully it won't like blow you away at some points, but we'll do the best we can. <clears throat> child of God. <clears throat> Wait a minute, a little too soft. Been thinking lately about the roles I play. I'm a messy creature, a mother teacher, singer each day. I could define myself by all of these jobs, but I am, I am, I am a child of God. Ooh, I am a child of God. Sometimes I think I'm sinking in the everyday. Schoolwork, laundry, not enough coffee, children's games. Help me remember what to focus on. Cause I am, I am, I am a child of God. Ooh, I am a child of Child. 
sound in the recording not only with uh, just the drum beat that's used but also the ukulele too it's just a really cool sound but even even right there that was a really cool organ sound to Thank go with you. it too i loved that particular edition as well in fact john curtis who's watching says uh love the the organ sound sounds great retro and full there you go she says awesome, love thank you good to see you uh john curtis nice to have you checking in on the program today yes everybody loves the uh the organ i think i turned out very well there you go you. Uh, <laughs> tell us where we can continue to connect up with you and follow more about your music and where you'll be performing and things of that nature all right well you can find i've got a few songs on streaming services and all the places just look up Rachel Durbin. Um, but I've also got a website called gardenartistrymusic.com. Um, and on there, you've got links to all my social media, but the, the most active thing I'm on is the YouTube channel. So Rachel Durbin music on, at YouTube, and that's the song every week that's happening. Um, and I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, uh, also Rachel Durbin music. So you can find me there. Um, but yeah, I'll, Going to keep on singing, keep on writing, keep on playing as much as I can. So <laughs> We wouldn't have it any other way. And we will love to continue to see. Follow her YouTube channel as well and give it a subscribe if you have not already. Because uh, every single Friday, as you've heard for the last years without fail, you will find a new, a new gem in your YouTube every single week to wake up to on a Friday morning to get your Friday off to a great start, just like you did, uh, Lauren Daigle, you say, this past Friday. So there'll be another one where that comes from next Friday. So go ahead and give your YouTube channel a follow and check out her cool videos every single week. And I know Red loves them because he says every single week, didn't disappoint again. Yes. Aww. Thank you so much. Appreciate being on the show and appreciate the encouragement. So, Yes, indeed. Let's pray for Rachel before we have Pat waiting in the wings. Lord, we just thank you for Rachel. We just thank you that you'll continue to inspire, continue to have her write lyrics and songs and that will continue to inspire many uh, for a heart towards you, Lord. And we just thank you that you'll continue in her the Knoxville, the t Tennessee area, that you'll continue to open up doors of opportunity. Um, to expand the reach of her music and continue to give her connections and provide her connections not only to play music live locally, but also in hopes to potentially uh, do more recording and continue to get more of that music out there in the ears and the, in the hands of many. And we just thank you and praise you to continuing to do a great work, continue to provide for her personally and professionally. And we just thank you for her joining us here on Red Zero. We just thank you. And everything you're doing for her. in Jesus' my name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Appreciate you as always. Thank you for your great support. Thank you for being here with us on Red Zerman. Thank you.